Hello there again, Fred BinaryOptions.com and <clears throat> we are having the second part of our project dedicated to Fibonacci and the flat pattern and we said that the Fibonacci, um, the Fibonacci retracement for a B wave of a flat is mandatory to be more than 61.8 Now, there are multiple types of flats in the sense that this is a, this is a flat pattern with minimum 61.8 but it can be that you have an A and a B and the C as a flat. As you can see here, the market is not stopping. Market is not stopping at 61.8. What I would do in here, what I suggest in here is to measure the length of wave A. A. When you see the wave A is a corrective one. When you see that the B wave to the upside is a corrective one. Measure the length of wave A with the Fibonacci tool. And then to look for the interval between 61.8 61.8 actually let's take um, let me let me put it in here so between 61.8 that is not that level but this one in here and we should look for 138.2 well 138.2 is this one in here like this Normally, the B wave should not go for the one above or beyond the 138.2 in order for wave C to still have a chance to retrace with an impulsive move to the downside. Even if it goes a bit more than 138.2, it only means that it's not going to take the lows in wave A, but still a 5 wave structure to unfold, something like 1, 2, 3, 4, and then the 5th wave. <coughs> one, two, three, four, five. The thing to do is that by the time 61.8 comes, we got to go and trade put options with the smaller investment or let's say just to test the market to see what the market is going to do. And then this range here needs to be split. First of all, needs to be split in half. All right, let me take another another line here. It needs to be split in half and then to split into different other halves if you want so basically we have quarters one in here and the one and the other one in here this represents levels where we should insist on the short side or where we should insist on buying put options why the more it the more it uh, uh, it advances in the opposite direction the bigger the chances are that we're going to be right but the investment here should be bigger bigger than the previous one, bigger than the previous one, and even here bigger than the previous one, while looking for expiration dates smaller and smaller. For example, if you have end of month expiration date on this one, this one should be end of week, this one should be end of day, if it goes in the same day, this one should be still end of day, this one should be smaller than end of day. And just like that, not only that you are calibrating your portfolio, but you are also diversifying the expiration dates based on the possibilities of a flat. Because the possibilities of the B wave of a flat with the uh, Fibonacci and 61.8 actually start from 61.8. Eh? It goes with 61.8A, then it goes 80, 100%, then it goes 100, 138.2, and so on, and so forth. In this way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, flats can be traded amazingly, amazingly good. It is exactly the same thing with zigzags, but we will add, or we will add a zigzag here on the downside, on the downside, in our next project. Thank you very much for being here. FairBinaryOptions.com. Make sure you check our Binary Options Academy projects that we have listed on the website. You have also 800 words theory or theoretical part explaining all these concepts but it is one to see them in writing and to read them and it is another thing to actually see them in reality thank you and have a great day bye bye